Let's see this question. In this question, we see I. We see this I here, right? I is represents an imaginary number. I squared equals negative one. Or I itself is defined as a square root of negative one. To imaginary number, it's just to make up the rest of our real number system. So Z, Z is, Z represents a complex number, like A plus B I. So A is a real part, and the B is an imaginary part. So Z represents a complex number. A complex number is a two-dimensional number. It has a real part, real number, it has imaginary. So here we want to solve for Z. If z divided by z minus 1 equals 1 plus i, so we want to find what is z. So solve for z. There are a couple of ways of solving this, but uh, let me just try with 1. So z divided by 1 over z, z minus 1, I can think of this. I can think, I can flip, right? I can flip to z minus 1 divided by z. <clears throat> And this side doesn't have a denominator, but I can think the denominator is one. So I flip the right hand side. I flip the left hand side, I flip the right hand side also. So that equals the one over one plus I. Why do I want to do this? Because now I can simplify it, right? So Z divided by Z, that's one minus one divided by Z, that's just one over Z. So I can solve one over Z. Then I flip again to solve Z, right? So this side, the right hand side, remember difference of two squares. I want to use the difference of two squares because i in the denominator, right? I want the i because a complex number is in this form. I. The i, we don't want to keep i in the denominator. So we want the i only in the numerator. So I multiply by its conjugate. Remember, we have a squared minus b squared, right? That's a plus b times a minus b. Well, in complex numbers, we get this as because i squared equals negative one. So this is a sum of two numbers, a squared plus b squared. And then this is bi is bi. So I have one plus i here. I multiply by its conjugate is one minus i. So I multiply these two. I multiply, well, of course, I can only multiply by one, right? This one is one minus i divided by one minus i. Then I have the numerator is just one times one minus i, which is one minus i. The denominator, I have the first one squared plus the second one squared, which is one squared plus one i squared, because the number before i, the number before i, is one before one squared. So that equals to one minus i divided by two. I have one minus one over z. Right. Now, let's move this one to this side. Let's move one over z to the other side. So I have one minus one minus i divided by two equals to one over z. My goal, remember, is the self of z. And this one, I can change it to be two over two. Then minus one minus i divided by two. They have two minus one minus i, two minus one. Minus minus i becomes plus i. Then divided by two. So that equals one over z. Two minus one, there's one. So I have one plus i divided by two equals to one over z. Now I can flip over, right? I flip over, I get a z divided by one equals to two divided by one plus i. Then I multiply by its conjugate again, one minus i again. So z equals to two minus two i divided by one square plus one square again. So z equals to Two minus two i divided by two. Simplify, I get a z equals one minus i. So this is just you know one way to solve z.